So is that, uh, that's actually one of my favourite missions in the game, that one. I really do like that one. It's the aspect of using thermal is always good. And uh, just missions where you switch between the characters are uh, also really decent. So the next one's another mission that's pretty good as well. It's a throwback actually to uh, Wrong Side of the Tracks, the classic San Andreas mission. I just love that bit. How childish T sounds on. He goes, Thank you, Frank. No, it won't be the last. No, no, it will be. <laughs> I was going to say it won't be the last time they come after him, but of course, it won't be the last time people come after Trevor. Chinese. Still yet to do it. Okay now, come on. I was hate London Hellies. There we go. Helping a friend in need. Come on, Chuck. Come on. Oh yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chuck, get in. See you back in Cassie Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Uh, we needed a headshot. Three out of three to get that. It's a shame as well because we did the others. <sighs> Alright. One of them was a checkpoint and we did actually fail one. So Yara folded one checkpoint, which is promising. Uh, Alright. We might be ready to move on this. Ah, thing. excellent. Meet me up in the lab. I didn't expect that actually. I thought I might have to do the train mission first. So. Clearly that's afterwards, because to be fair, thinking about it, you settle your beef with Madrazo after that, so it was clearly always going to be this one. And I'm happy to see this, because this will be the last thing to do on the stream, I think. It depends how long it takes, actually. If we get it done relatively quickly, I might do the train mission. Uh, we'll see. So, uh, this is really fun, this heist, as well. And a second view we have of Packy McCree. He's experienced now, so I think he will make it out there alive. And the first heist that we actually get some serious wedge for. I mean, we've got money for the jewellery store job. That, um, you just never do end up paying Madrazo back then, I don't think. Michael still has 1.2 mil. We need to start spending. So I was mistaken, I assumed you paid it back. But uh, certainly Trevor and Frank need money right now, and this will get. Oh no, what am I on about? Right, this won't get some because this is just gonna pay for this research job. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First so this is the cutscene I was talking about a number of missions back where they're both arguing alongside here and Frank sort of comes in between them and pacifies them and I think that's sort of a summary of most of the game too. Yeah, well let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. Mother. Hey, what? Enough. You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lie, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. <laughs> Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay. That's why I like Frank the best one. Any questions? He's the only one who's like straight up. Yeah. No drama. He just Mr. gets on with it. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river. 
handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in. You grab the tape. They rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Does that uh, work for everyone? Great. Let's go. Come on. We got a score to take. So unfortunately, Packy just got a big score, but it was worth using him from the start because he is so experienced. So to the pier, where we Never drop Frank off. Before, yeah, I, <laughs> I love this conversation bit as well. They all take the piss. Frank explains his first. Well, they they all explain the first job they do. I think. Uh, no real good songs there, so randomised the wheel. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Oh, shit, not me. Huh? Man, you've been kind of reckless, homie. Mother Mikey, fucker. bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts, Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 20. Carcer City, I'm sure that's the Jesus. infamous ghost city that was mentioned in GTA 3. What was your first bank score? Because there's a Carson City in America. I'm sure there's a Carson City. I was spotting for my brother scores in junior high. This is Pucky's tale. Is my biggest job. Ah, this is GTA 4 reference, I think. Never really played that game, so I don't know, but I know Pucky was in it. I ran the crew. It was me, my brother Derek, God rest his soul, my pal Michael, God rest his soul, and another boy, Nico, who's probably dead too. They're all dead. Must have been jinxed, huh? All I know is I live to tell the tale. We went in, my pal Michael gets shot. I take down the hero who did it, then we blow the vault, take the money, and meet half the LCPD coming out. The cops are outside, they're in the street, down the alleys, they're in the subway. We just keep moving and shooting, moving and shooting. Climbed out the subway, found a car. I'll put my good stuff for this mission. Like it's very similar. Right to bring along on this. Let's just hope we ain't jinxed as well. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember... If he don't remember? I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job? Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The check's cash place. I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Ah. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe <laughs> he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that children is why we don't leave witnesses. That children is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> ah, frankly, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay. The score was like two stacks, man. 2G? Take home on your first gig? Uh, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none <laughs> of that shit. Die pack went off, homie. All right, Frank. We're going to drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off... So it stopped ready, the we're dialogue because we're close ASAP. to start this I'm bit. But away, I'm sure they're about to I'll say, like... I'm sure right, Travis starts to piss himself as Michael's like trying game. to say, oh, look at him too bad. He's like dying to laugh himself. <laughs> and there's a reference. It's one of my favorite dialogue bits where they're all sort of bantering a bit. Uh, most of the time, they're, they're arguing. Are you ready for this? I could use a restroom break and risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. All right, we all good? Let's hit them. So where we go, wow, we have a shit ton of combat MG bullets. I did say you were given really good weapons on this. And uh yeah, chose. On the floor! Unless you got shares in this bank, you don't gotta worry. Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's Move T. No. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee! Okay, you got the crowd! 
Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. The door should be ready. Come over here and kick it, Adam. Just sit this out. Where am I? No, there he is. Fuck, he's got the door ready. Gotta meet this alarm guy. Fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. As you can see, we get a hell of a take it. T's gonna hold them off as long as possible. And uh, the shoot up begins now. I was thinking, I'm actually, I wonder what. I'd, oh no, it doesn't round at all. I was thinking, if I just stand there with Trevor, it just keeps going up <laughs> the take. But when I go there, they do stop. Uh, there we go, 8 mil. We could drop some. Someone die, kills, and uh, dies rather than we obviously they get fucking hefty take reduced. But uh, said, a lot of cost to this will go towards the score. But the fact that Packy's been given 12% does indicate that we might keep some. Thinking about it. So this is OP. Fucking chained up. We just get out of nowhere. The <laughs> cocky that policeman is, by the way. He doesn't know what crew he's working with. Working against Strava. Michael's the better option here. He's further forward. No, oh, I'm told that he hasn't got a fucking minigun. It's T, so. Oh, shit. I don't know why it didn't let me change then. I was trying to change this, but I was tapping down. Because, of course, using the travel would have been much better there. Headshot it, Michael. Come on now. Nice. Getting that shit down. I always forget to make sure of headshots. Just try and kill them as soon as, and I'm thinking about it. It's going to be the vast majority of the gold award. So, time to use T. We're bringing down the fences here, real and emotional. I wish I'd had one of these suits five years ago, I'll tell you that. Oh, shoot it. I just thought you run through it. Fuck's sake. Take him down. There is no way out. Hey, Frank. We need another escape route. Can you find a vehicle? Something that might stand up to gunfire. There's some construction around the way. Right. Keep behind the car. We go right through them, gentlemen. They got tack guys in Polito Bay. As you can see, use Trevor to start to uh, destroy all these vehicles. Then, if, if it is best, stick to Michael, I think, to just pick the guys off. Obviously, have a lock on effect then. Where are all these other guys? Right, there's one. Have a bit of that, mate. There's <laughs> one. So apologies there, I have to just pause just to uh, put myself back in a chat party because it ran out then. And uh, commentary might well run out. I'm still 